Radiation therapy has contributed significantly to the treatment of various cancer types for decades. Stereotactic body radiation therapy has evolved the field of radiation in terms of curing, alleviating, and improving patients' lives. It aimed at delivering a high biological dose of radiation precisely to define targets with this exposure to the surrounding normal tissues by delivering double the external PIM therapy dose in an abbreviated course of treatment. It has been used for various cancer types and because the targeted tumor size is only a few centimeters in diameter, much of the motion can be eliminated, so high energy radiation is delivered safely. SPRT has number of benefits. To begin with, to begin with, it is convenient for patients. For example, primary lung cancer patients may not be able to tolerate surgical methods due to their health condition. Poor health condition may include those with cardiovascular diseases, poor lung performance, and advanced age. For those patients, the SPRT is a beneficial option. It is also convenient in terms of, ha of having shorter treatment times and higher delivery doses. Patients spend less time, four days to one week of hypofractionation therapy compared with conventional radiotherapy patients who receive treatment lasting for seven weeks. Typically, a 15-minute duration is required for a single treatment and requires no needles. This approach might be beneficial for the management in terms of increasing its capacity to treat more patients. In addition, an ablative dose is delivered due to the very high energy apply in SPRT. As a result, the tumor might be killed in some patients, especially in those tumors that resist or don't respond to external PIM therapy. Moreover, the high local control rates are noticeable. Many studies have been successfully performed with local control rates exceeds 90%. The final important benefit of, of SBRT is that it is an accurate treatment method. The treatment tolerance is very tight in this technique, which makes the lesion receive a high focus dose. Subsequently, the organ arteries receive minimum dose. However, there is one major problem related to the toxicity of different grades. Firstly, acute toxicity, which occurs within less than 90 days after the SBRT treatment commence. Indeed, patients who had less than one month between fractions and those who had external PIM therapy treatment course before the SBRT tend to develop the acute toxicity. In some cases, the toxicity might be serious and require medical care. Secondly, the sort of toxicity that may develop from 90 days up to one year after the SBRT treatment is known as late toxicity. Patients who develop the late toxicity usually don't receive external beam therapy before the SBRT. To achieve the clinical implementation effectively and safely, there are a number of approaches need to be considered. To begin with, patient selection and tumor size are casual factors in effectively performing an SBRT. Secondly, Image-guided radiotherapy can be successfully used in SPRT treatment for accurate target definition. With the aid of IGRT, the lung movement is taken into account, so high dose can be delivered safely. The physicist and dosmetrist work to the, together to obtain the treatment plan and to deliver the treatment. The therapist ensures the plan is correct by, review, by reviewing its final version so that the treatment goes successfully. In addition, 
SBRT has many clinical advantages in terms of immobilization tools that aid in the process of applying very high doses to the targeted tumor. For instance, positioning devices including base plate, arm and knee cushion, and thermoplastic immobilization marks, which all are used to perform effective treatments. In addition, ABC system, which refers to active breathing control during the breathing cycle, the, the area of interest might move. Therefore, localizing the tumor tends to be difficult. ABC system is only valid for those who can hold their breath for 20 to 30 seconds. Similarly, a device called abdominal compression can be used for patients who cannot tolerate the ABC system. The system prevents deep breath, so the targeted tumor movement is reduced. SBRT is beneficial and, most, and in most cases it will result in favorable outcomes. Obviously, the SBRT benefits outweigh the associated drawbacks and this has been shown in several studies local control rates. There are many safety dilemmas associated with the SBRT program. Highly qualified team is an important approach to lead the treatment. It is recommended that all the program team attend each single real treatment fraction in order to control and deliver the process effectively. In addition, the radiation oncologist approval for the image guidance is very important.